Are you afraid of God? No. But I'm afraid of you. Are you going to just sit there? As compared to what? Standing? Not standing. Rowing. Rowing? I hadn't planned on it. So you expect me to shoulder What's the this? burden? No, but I do expect you to do all the rowing. And why is that? Coming here was your idea. My idea? I've made it very clear that I don't believe in the exercise. The rowing? No. Imagine that's wonderful exercise. Then what? The entire thought experiment. Excuse me. How much longer? One goes into an experiment knowing one could fail. But one does not undertake an experiment knowing one has failed. Can we get back to the rowing? I suggest you do, no, but we're never going to get there. No, I mean I'd greatly appreciate it if you would assist. Perhaps you should ask him. I imagine he has a greater interest in getting there than I do. I suppose he does, but there's no point in asking. Why not? Because he doesn't row. He doesn't row? No, he doesn't row. Ah, I see what you mean. We've arrived. Shall we tell him when we'll be returning? Would that change anything? It might give him some comfort. Well, at least that's something we can agree on. Hey! Somebody meeting me here? I'd certainly hope so. It does seem like a dreadful place to be stranded. There's someone inside. Excuse me, it's Booker DeWitt. I guess you're expecting me? Is anyone here? Hello?
demand that card. Fancy chair. Right. Uh, Make yourself ready, Pilgrim. The bindings are there as a safeguard. No, no, God damn it! Attention. Ascension in the count of five. No, count of four. No, no, no. Three. Two. One. No. Ascension. Ascension. Five thousand feet. Ten thousand feet. Fifteen thousand feet. Hallelujah. Love the prophet because he loves the sinner. I love the 
a sinner because he is you. Without the sinner, what need is there for a redeemer? Without sin... Excuse me. Where am I? Heaven, friend. Or as close as we'll see till Judgment Day. I just keep such questions to myself, unless I want to get made. I gotta find the exit out of this place. On this day of days, we recommit ourselves to our city and to our prophet, Father Comstock. We recommit through sacrifice and the giving of thanks and by submerging ourselves in the sweet waters of baptism. And lo, if the prophet has struck down our enemies at wounded knee and not railed against the sodden beneath us, it would have been enough. If the prophet had just railed against the Sodom beneath us, but not accepted the free golden gifts of the founders, it would have been enough. If the prophet had just accepted the free golden gifts of the founders and not prayed for our deliverance, it would have been enough. If the prophet had only prayed for our deliverance and not led us to this new Eden, it would have been enough. If the prophet had just led us to the new Eden and not purged the vipers of the Orient, it would have been enough if the prophet had just purged the vipers of the Orient, but not suffered the sacrifice of his beloved. It would have been enough if the prophet had just suffered the sacrifice of his beloved, but not expelled the Vox Populi. It would have been enough. Is it someone new? Someone from the Sodom below? Newly come to Columbia to be washed clean before our prophet, our founders, and our lord? I just need passage into the city. Passage to the city. Brother, the only way to Columbia is through rebirth in the sweet waters of baptism. Will you be cleansed, brother? Let's have a vessel turn around and get back on that rocket. Might as well get it over with. Come and be cleansed. Hallelujah! Take his hand. <laughs> hey. I baptize you in the name of our prophet, in the name of our founders, and the name of our Lord. I don't know, brothers and sisters, but this one doesn't look clean to me. Who's there? Who's there? Bring us the curve and wipe away the dead! What do you want? We had a deal to wet. Open this door right now. I told you. I'm not gonna do it. Go away! Mr. DeWitt! Mr. DeWitt! Idiot priest needs to learn the difference between baptizing a man and drowning him. Granted a sword of gold, so that I need to find a landmark and figure out where the hell I am. To Father Franklin, 
A key of gold so that Eden might have industry that set her above all other nations. Our prophet fills our lungs with water, so they may better love the air. He who crossed the Delaware with flaming sword and wings of angels. A rebel against Watch over By the sword and, and the, the scroll. scroll. Amen. There is no chance, no luck. Only problem. Well, just because the city flies don't mean it ain't got its fair share of fools. All right. Still got a girl to find. Gotta wait like all the rest. The angel of Columbia did present herself to Father Comstock and show him a vision of the future. And so our prophet led the people away from the sun below, up, up into the city, where they created an even more perfect union. But it was the miracle child, the lamb, that is the future of our city. Folks. Picking the right event to attend on a day like today is serious business, you know. Can't be everywhere at once. <laughs> You'll always miss something. That's why we're going to the raffle. I have a good feeling this year. Columbia Raffle and Fair. <laughs> He's strong in the sword, but a bit weak. said I'd find her. Telegram, Mr. DeWitt. Huh. Telegram for you, sir. DeWitt, stop. Do not alert Comstock to your presence. Stop. Whatever you do, do not pick number 77. Stop. Lutess. What the... <laughs> A good day to you, sir. Hello. I agree. You keep now. saying. That. Would you believe me? If I told you a man could hoist a one-ton stallion straight into the air, would you believe me? Well, friends, I am here today to tell them. 
Those are no flights of fancy. Those are no tall tales told behind the pool hall. No, sir. No, ma'am. Those are biggers I'm talking about. Brought to you courtesy of Mr. Jeremiah Fink himself. Who amongst you has tasted the divine gift of the vigor? One swig and feats of wonderment are at the tips of your fingers. You know our prophet is fair. You know our prophet is kind. And he has asked, personally asked, Mr. Jeremiah Fink to bring to you these amazing wonders. Praise be to our prophet and praise be to our fair city. If I told you young sir, man. young miss, roll up and try the amazing power of bucking Bronco. Find the devil, good sir, and cast him out. Do you have what it takes? <laughs> and there's devil number one. <laughs> What's a voxophone? What's a voxophone? X 
exactly that. A personal record of voice. Hey, just so we're clear, I'm not paying for this. Just a demonstration. I usually wait till they go. Right in the sky, man. So Hey, you! Andy with a rifle! Looking to do your part for Columbia! Skill by hunting down Daisy Fitzroy and the vile members of the Vox Populi. Well, here's a brave fellow. Now, shoot the Vox when they appear, get it up, and you'll win a prize. I'll even throw in a bonus if you bag the anarchist Daisy Fitzroy. Have a shot right on the money. Let me through. Heads. Or tails. Heads. Told you. Hmm. I never find that as satisfying as I'd imagined. Chin up. There's always next time. I suppose there is. It's not a fit occupation for a lady, but I think she's jealous of our cleverness. Is it true that only you were allowed to visit the girl in the tower? If the lamb is lonely too, I should like to meet her, as we would have much in common. What the? Warmest regards, Constance. And now, the 1912 raffle 
has officially begun! Mister! Mister! Sorry, no sale. <laughs> Silly, there's never a charge for the raffle. You've been sleeping under a rock? 77. 77. That's a lucky number. I'll be rooting for you. Bring me the bowl! Is that not the prettiest young white girl in all of Colombia? <laughs> all right, then. The winner is number 77! Oh, what do you know? Number 77, come and claim your prize! First throw! Do with me, it was all me, please! Please! Please, what are you doing? Come on, are you gonna throw it? Or are you taking your coffee black these days? <laughs> Oh, looks like we've got a shy one here. Yes, <laughs> we've got to do something about that. Wait, it's him. Now, where'd you get that brand, boy? Don't you know that makes you the backstabbing snake in the grass, false shepherd? The false shepherd. And we ain't letting no false shepherd into our flock. <laughs> Show them what we got planned, boys. turns machine and man into allies. Hold and release to create a ghostly trap. You sell them paradise and the customers expect cherubs for every chore. <laughs> no menials in God's kingdom. <laughs> well... I have a man in Georgia who leases us as many Negro convicts as you can board. Why, you can say they're simple souls in penance for rising above their station. <laughs> Whatever eases your conscience, I suppose. Hot. 
What's going on? sample. Why are you following me? We were already here. Why are you following us? I...
handy in a pinch. The difference between life and death. Surprising. Surprising that it worked? Surprising that it didn't kill him. But a magnetic repulsive field around one's body can come in handy. If it doesn't kill you. A fair point. Father Comstock called on me today to write his biograph. Me. The man pays for exactly 100 pages in advance. Now, I'm half a Jew when I smell silver, so I say, I say, Father, your flock would pay for a thousand. You know, well, I'd settle for less. And then the prophet looks to me and says, 100 will suffice, as I know how it ends. Onto them with this skyhook. No! Damn hook must be magnetized. Not the answer. As much as I support her cause and her people, blood must not be. Ah! Oh! Tim, the one they're after. Go. They're looking for you. Police! 
We're in need of your assistance. They're here! Shh. Keep your voice down. All right, let's move on.
place. Mostly after one o'clock this afternoon, the scoundrel, believed now by many to be Fox Popeye, began his terrible rampage. Trouble began almost instantly. Full of wrath and bent on harm, the anarchist maliciously wounded several Colombian peacemakers, before then arming himself and firing into an assemblage of virtuous fairgoers. As of this hour, he is considered wholly responsible for causing at least eight God-fearing Colombians to meet their maker in heaven. He is considered brimming with danger and evil intent, and we implore you not to tempt ruination by facing him without aid of Colombia's finest. Now, back to the music. Shepherd, this anarchist is either a marauder dwarf or a French man with a. 
I didn't get the Monument Island from that station.
sorry to say that Monument Island is off limits. You've got to go. Workmen should proceed to the island by means of the skyline. The skylights, huh? Those things them coppers came riding in on back by the lottery. <laughs> And the Lord saw the wickedness of man was great, and he repented he had made man on the earth. Rain! Forty days and forty nights of the stuff, and he left not a thing that walked alive. You see, my friends, even God is entitled to a do-over. And what is Columbia if not another ark for another time? Skyline up above. Somehow I get some elevation, I could probably reach it. sword and the wings of angels. Watch over me and lend me strength. You've come. 
hard to lead my lamb astray, but thy crook is bent and thy path is twisted. twisted. Go back to the Sodom from which you came! Okay. to take this thing to Monument Island. up in this place. I guess even in a restricted area, these crackers need someone to clean the floors. <laughs> Those politicians and scientists don't bother about what they say around me, because I'm some half-leaded colored boy. But I can tell they scared out of their wits by that thing they got locked upstairs. Yes, sir. They got a tiger by the tail, and they don't know whether to hang on or run. Mr. Thompson, sir, I, I replaced the entire fuse banker's ass, and the lights were all in working order last night. Last night? There they go again. What the hell are they doing to her? We go through boxes of fuses every day as of late, and they're just in the siphon alone. I don't... 
to imagine one's future and another to see it I have seen the seeds of fire that will prepare the Sodom below for the coming of the Lord but Elizabeth shall sow those seeds not I I will fall before the job is done but she shall take up my mantle the Lord is calling me home I feel his love in every tumor because they are the train which takes me to his station. And I go with joy knowing that Elizabeth will take my earthly place. But the false shepherd is coming to lead my lamb astray. I will not board that train until she is safe from his deceptions. girl different. I suspect it has less to do with what she is, and rather more with what she is not. A small part of her remains from where she came. It would seem the universe does not like its peas mixed with its porridge. Uh, hello. Ah! Oh, oh. Uh, uh. 
shit! Not here to hurt you. Who are you? My name is DeWitt. I'm a friend. I come to get you out get of here. Get away! <gasps> are you real? I'm real enough. He's coming. You, you've got to go. Why? You don't want to be here when he gets here. Just a minute, I'm getting dressed. Get you out of here. There's no way out. Trust me, I've looked. Stop it, you're, you're too impatient. That's enough. What about this? What about it? This is the way out, isn't it? What are you... Give it to me. Huh. We'll see about that. Who are you? Why did you come here? This way, come on! Are you 
What do you want with her? We have a deal to wax. Tell me what you want with her. Open this door right now. Are you going to hurt her? Tell me what you want. Anna? Anna? Elizabeth, are you all right? Where am I? Back in the land of the living. Here, let me. I'll be fine. You almost drowned. You need to... I said I'm fine. Just... Just, just give me a minute. Do you hear that? Oh, it's music. Yeah, you go on. I just... Okay, I, I won't be long. I won't be long, Mr. DeWitt. Such a crybaby. Oh, fine. Two more minutes. Hey, hey. I'm looking for a young girl wearing a white blouse, brown hair, blue eyes. You see a young girl, uh, blue skirt. No? No. But I'm without an escort if you're looking to pass the time. You fellas seen a girl around here? Blue skirt, dark hair? Look at this one. Why don't you just sleep it off, chum? The Prophet may know how his own biography is going to end, but I can scarcely fathom how I'm going to start it. I mean, other than the kid stuff you get at the Hall of Heroes, anything prior to his baptism was, and here I quote, hang on, left on the riverside. They'll call me a plagiarist, but I'm going to spend the first 30 pages regurgitating scripture. Please work. Well established. Hmm. Look at 
him, ladies. It's a crime someone doesn't get him a nice set of trunks. Go. Why? What could be better than this? Well, how about Paris? Paris? How? I, I don't understand. How could we get there? That's where that airship's going, but if you want to stay and dance, we can... No, let's go! Come on, let's go! Come on, let's go right now! <sighs> I'm out. It's hard to believe, but it's true, isn't it? Oh, can you smell that? I've never smelled anything like that before, have you? Beaches I know don't smell much like that. Mr. Duet, Comstock. I've read about him. They say he can see the future. Give a man a little power. He falls in all kinds of love with himself. I don't like his look. Do you dislike the look of the Prophet, or his gaze? Can we leave now? Huh. That fall into the water did you no favors. I'll keep an eye out for something that might ease your pain. Mr. DeWitt, here! A bird? Or the cage? Or perhaps the bird? Nothing beats the cage. He's still again. How do you... Never mind. They're amazing. Which one do you like more, this one or, or this? The bird is beautiful and the cage is somber, but there's really something special about it. <sighs> the one on the right. Are you sure? I'm sure. I love it. Surprising. I expected the cage. If you're going to be a sore loser, then I shan't do this again. Now that's just sophistry. Oh my god. My god. It has to be. Who else would Look. Do such Are you all right? That was my home. So we should get out of here. Let's go. Where was the songbird in his head? Make sure you have a piece of photographic identification ready for presentation. Put those arms up now. It is. Fingers I, apart. I cop him. Legs apart. Look at this Stand one. Still. He's suspicious now, if you ask me. Uh, damn things all right, locked. All right, quiet down there, Pete. Let's go home. What are you doing? You're a roguish type. What does it look like? Done. Where did you learn to pick locks? Trapped in a tower with nothing but books and spare time? <laughs> you would be surprised what I know how to do. I must take any task with more than this. Oh, uh, hello, sir. Don't you pay me no never mind. That's some foolishness, you know. <laughs> Just monkey shines. Hey, I found these silver eagles. There's a vending device over there. It might be something to bring you back to health. It's probably a good idea. Try asking the girl a few key questions. 
such as. Don't you think those watchdogs I woke have a valid claim to When I first seen Columbia, that sky was the brightest, bluest sky that ever was. <laughs> Seemed like heaven. Then your eyes adjusted to the light. Hey, and you Mr. saw that sea of white We'd like to help looking you. hard back in. I know you. Back at the lottery, you... Without you, we wouldn't have gotten away. Daisy always said somebody like you would come along. for you, sir. You best be on your way, or there's gonna be trouble for us both. Ugh. Hey! Lawless Flintlock! It's the newest one in the series. Red was delayed three times. Are you a duke? Or a dimwit? Duke cleans his father's rifle and... Come and take a photograph with the father of our country. He chopped down the cherry tree. He crossed the Delaware! On bended knee, he accepted the sword from the Angel Columbia. Come on, folks! Show your allegiance to flag and to the nation! To the sky, Comstock bent his knee and saw with holy prophecy an Eden floating in the mist by man forsworn, by heaven kissed. <laughs> kind sir. Would you happen to have the time? It's about 7.30. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Annabelle? Excuse me? Annabelle, it's me, Esther. Oh, no, I'm not Annabelle. Are you sure? My name is Elizabeth. Do I know you? Elizabeth? Isn't that a lovely name? <laughs> That was... odd. Last customer. Park's closing. Park's closing, everyone. Excuse me. Yeah, these shoes sure could benefit from a shine. Guess I haven't paid much attention. If you're in such a hurry, go on ahead. You watch out. I just swapped that. Um, have you got sauerkraut? Sauerkraut? Uh, I guess so. I'll take, um, one, please. How much? Two tickets for passage to the First Lady airship. Yeah, just a minute, friend. Yeah, I have it. How do you, uh, want to proceed? In a bit of a rush, pal. Hey, mister, you're gonna get mustard mm -hmm. over your nice suit. I got it. I'll ring you back once the matter's in hand. I don't like this. Yeah, send in the bird. We're ready to execute. Excuse me, can I get some help here? Certainly, sir. Sorry about the wait! Ah! Ah! What are you doing? Get the girl! Get off of me! Shut 
As the months and years turned to memories, so did the men of Congress turn to righteousness. And through the technology of men, the dollars of Washington, the Lord worked his will upon Columbia and raised her high above the Sodom below. Just stay where you are! Get away from hey, me! Hey, come back here! You killed those people. I can't believe you did that. They're all dead. You killed those people. Elizabeth, I... You're a monster! What did you think was gonna happen? Do you understand the expense the people went through to keep you locked up in that tower? You think people like that are just gonna let you walk away? You are an investment, and you will not be safe until you are far away from here. What, what do they want from me? I don't know. That's the last time anyone gets the drop on me. Let me see your hand. What happened back there? It's not the last of it, is it? I don't know. There. I suppose I best get used to it. But I've read a thing or two about medicine. I'll do my best to keep you supplied with my needs. If your wounds are deeper, I'll try to keep you on the side of the abyss. Take a look, look at this lock. I'm sure, I saw some interesting things on the other side. It's done. I feel better already. I found some money. 
want it? Can you open this? It's easy enough. All done. Soldier's Field, built in 1903 by the hand of our prophet. Entrance to the prophet having a bunch of carnies and carousel. service. You mean the military. Train up a child in the way he should go. Even when he is old, he will not depart from it. Well, do you write that? No. <gasps> okay, shut up. Now how are we going to get to the airship? Let me see if I can get that gate open by hand. Shocky jockey. Who needs the power company? Some fool's alternative to electricity. Doesn't seem to work very well. heading for the dock. That will take us to Paris. Just stay close. Yes, Mr. DeWitt. Call me Booker. Oh, all right. Booker. Should we head to the gondola or take a look around the boardwalk? I suppose a place like this might have much we'd find useful. When I was a girl, I dreamt of standing in a room looking at a girl who was and was not myself, who stood looking at another girl who also was and was not myself. My mother took this for a nightmare. I saw it as the beginning of a career in physics. Do you know why you were hired to come and get me? I imagine they were interested in meeting you. No doubt for lockpicking lessons. Why you? I never even heard of this place before I got here. Huh. I assumed Columbia was common knowledge below. Guess I got a bit behind with current events. Don't say it again. All right, no need to get emotional. Keep your hand. Mm. City's gone to hell. Next thing I know, there'll be Vox Populi rampaging through the streets. Put it back where you found it. I won't say it again. All right, no need to get emotional. Mm. City's gone to hell. Next thing I know, there'll be Vox Populi rampaging through the streets. Hmm. What? I was just imagining you in the carousel. Need to 
summon the gondola if we intend to reach that airship. These seem to be the controls and summon. Looks like this runs exclusively on shock jock. Of course it does. Where in the hell are we gonna find that? Look! Come see the future of power at the Hall of Heroes. Huh. Well, that's convenient. Gentlemen, the false shepherd is loose in the streets of our fair city. Will you suffer the shame of allowing your wives and your daughters to fall prey to his machinations? Or will you act? Act for your womenfolk. Act for your prophet. Act. No act point hiding. Like we're fairly well healed, Mr. Okay. Much obliged. For the victims of today's brutality. Hall of Heroes closed until further notice. Then there won't be a line to get in. <gasps> oh, what the hell? Is something wrong? Oh, nothing I can't fix. I gotta get this thing moving again. Oh, it's a bee. I, I hate these things. Oh, Jesus, just kill it. No, it'll sting me. Elizabeth. I have a better idea. What, what, what are you doing? Opening a tear! Oh shit! What is that? It's a tear. I used to open them all the time in my tower. What is a tear? It's like a a, a window. A window to another world. Most of the time they're dull as dishwater, a different colored towel or tea instead of coffee. But sometimes, sometimes I see something amazing and I pull it through. There. Good God. I don't suppose you've got an airship in there? I don't think so. But there is. There, there is something. I... Oh no! Close it. I, I'm trying! Close it! I don't really understand what I just saw back there. But it sure as hell looks like a shortcut to getting us killed. But I could help. I can handle whatever comes along. Trust me. To the sky Have a year with Disney and saw with holy prophecy an Eden floating in the mist by man forsworn, by heaven kissed.
will teach Cornelius Slate a lesson. Now, I know you've all come to this son of a bitch. It's him! Second thought. I think those tears of yours might come in handy next time we're in a scrape. Well, there has to be a tear around for me to use. I can't just pull them out of thin air. Here's some cash. Cash! Zachary Comstock will hear our voice. His temple shall burn, and his idols of gold will melt and run in regulars through the streets of Columbia. Hmm. Ugh. Aren't we the well-to-do types? Over here. Look, a cipher. A secret message from the Vox Populi. You're the junior codebreaker. What's it say? Don't know. There should be a codebook somewhere. tip there were contraband guns hidden in the fellow traveler. Didn't find them, but funny thing, we found some old uniforms under the floorboards from the war. <laughs> Took guesses as to why they were there, but... <laughs> Who's there? Your slate, right? Sir? Put the guns down! <laughs> Did you hear that, Comstock? That is the sound you have never heard. The sound of a soldier's end. Come to your hall of heroes. Prove me a liar. Found something. It's the code book. Simple enough. Tip the hat to the Vox. Well, there must be more to this place than meets the eye. Tip of the hat. About her. Books say she's out to tear Columbia from the sky. Everybody's got it. Dream. I don't want to be part of their culture, their politics, their people. The sun is setting on their world, and soon enough, all they gonna see is the dark.
You're a fool, boy. makes all kinds of soldiers, but he only made one Cornelius Slate. My father followed him up San Juan Hill, through the legations in Peking, and as he put it, through hell the order was given. At today's muster, Slate asked me if I was Sergeant Monroe's daughter. I said, yes sir, I am. Slate said, your father always wanted a son. I hope the fool has this. wisdom enough to raise My tower. It's only fair to give me a cut of the profits, don't you think? lock. There you go. Gondola access to the Hall of Heroes. This is going to be fantastic. You think that keen eye of yours could find some ammunition lying around? I sure could use it when there's trouble. I'll take some scrounging, but I'll do my best. The line's clear. know the fella. Seems he's still got a knack for making enemies. Booker! Sniper rifle! Catch! See what else I can find! Looks like we found where your old friend Slade is. Let's find that shot jug. Ugh! <laughs> 
again if you join us in the play. With Davis for the president and Stephen the state for grand. We're ready around the pony to play the play. Need money? Here you go. The man who takes a stand for God and sweetest fatherland. But here's the place where we revere the heroes of our city dear. some kind of jam here. If you could see fit to let us through to where they keep the shock jockey, then we'll... That tin soldier, Comstock, wants my boys dead. We won't die at his hands. There's going to be trouble. All my men have left is a choice. Die at the hands of a tin soldier or a real one. Just give us the shock jockey. If you want the vigor, Luger, you... In my men, a soldier's step. They wait for you and won't need Becky. I'll try to keep you stocked with both bandages and ammo. But the right materials aren't always at hand. What is this? It's the Boxer Rebellion. What happened there? In Peking, it was my hand that put the city to the torch. That's not how Comstock tells it. Yellow skin and slanted eyes that did betray us with their lies. Oh, I read about this. Comstock led the Colombian troops. Comstock wasn't there! The boxers took my eye and 30 of my friends! Is there even a stone to mark that sacrifice? Who wants to live forever? Who will share my fate? Flames! 
do this, Slade. Just give me what I need. I will. After you do the same for me. Come and look for me amongst the ghost dancers. Who are the ghost dancers? Wounded knee. He means us to head to the other display. Can you hear Comstock's tin soldiers coming to silence us? But we are the true patriots. The history that does not fit in their books. see it in your face. Tell her, Booker! Tell her how we strode that battlefield like the heroes of Sparta! I still hear the screams. Let's come, stop. Here's the soldier I spoke of! The kind of man you pretend to be! See if I told you true! For this, I have no quarrel with these men. Heroes never ask. I never claim to be no hero. And what are you? If you take away all the parts of Booker DeWitt you tried to erase, what's left? Come back to the rotunda. It's almost over. What did Slate mean? you try to erase? Now that you're out of yours, you might realize cages have their advantages. A choice is better than none, Mr. DeWitt. No matter what the outcome. Yeah. What if you woke up one day and realized you didn't I've got what you need, Booker. You will find me past the First Lady's memorial. <laughs> Say what you want about Lady Comstock. A woman had an eye for fashion. You've seen what Comstock has done to my history. Now see how he's rewritten his own. Nice. The seed of the Prophet lay in the womb of Our Lady but for a single week. 
Greystock had a child. My books never mention anything about a child. That's quite an omission. Can't imagine that was by accident. But the child took ill, and Our Lady prayed for the Prophet's heir day and night. Fitzroy has murdered my beloved. She shall not have the child. She shall not come betwixt her and prophecy. The seed of the prophet shall sit the throne and drown in flame the mountains of man. Your constant star. No, I can't be. I, I can't. He wants you to follow in his footsteps. Well, I want a puppy, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna get one. Fancy putting those lock-picking skills to work? these bars, but you're too broad. Let me scout ahead, see if there's some way to move forward. Is that? It's a tear, something I can bring into this world. It's a freight hook. Well, that's convenient. As I said, it's a form of wish fulfillment. Let me know Do if you it. want me to bring that freight hook in. I feel there's more where that came from. Whenever I'd get anxious, tears have a way of appearing. Booker, do you see those tears? We can use them against Slate's men. That tear will get us access to higher ground. And that one will give us a turret. And some cover. Try that one! Turret, now! Oh. Too rare is 
the man who takes the stand you for and God and sweetest fatherland. And here on the place where we revere the heroes of our city. King Man Booker. That's what Comstock will turn us into. Wires and gears to replace heads and hearts. Take a look at this lock. Really? That the whole place lock. is ransacked. There Ready. No shock jockey here. Slate must have taken them. Look. Satisfy him. Oh no. He won't rest until he's turned us into tin. I won't let him. He took my past. But that's all he's getting from me. Just give us the vigor. We don't need to do this. Here you go, boys. A soldier's death awaits. Wait 
I remember. Ten men. That'll Ten do. Men. Master soldier! Come on now, Dewey! Don't disappoint the boys! My men and I are doomed. Doomed as noble Custer was at Little Bighorn. But we shall not yield to Comstock and his ten soldiers. Rejoice! The Prince has seen him. Booker Dewey is coming here to the hall. We called him the White Engine of Wounded Knee for all the grisly trophies he claimed. A man such as he might just grant us the peace we seek. Come on, DeWitt! Show me what you're made of! Men will surely take him. Do you ever get used to it? The killing. Faster than you can imagine. seem very powerful. I'll do what I can to keep you stocked in salts. Thanks.
tell what Slate said bothered you. You showed me. Sometimes you have to do what is survival. Oh, survival. And you're finding pleasure in the act. Booker. Look, you seem like a decent enough sort. That said, less you know about me, the better. Want to hold on to this? Got it.
Mr. DeWitt. The name's Booker. I'll be certain to attend to that distinction. Booker. And there's a moment when we're not being shot at. If you're interested, I've spotted some supplies over there. Here's some cash. Take this. Nice. We hold these truths to be self-evident. I understand how you do what you do. These tears. I always thought of them as doors. When I was younger, I didn't just open the ones I found. I remember making them. Making them? I could go wherever I wanted. I always wanted to come back. To what? How do you do that? Whatever it is.
Poor Preston is a sporting man, Miss Fitzroy. I won't steal up on you while you slumber like these Vox boys here with their pig stickers. Oh, no! That's one scalp to me. That's two. Now when you hear this, I want you to square your affairs and come die in the side of the poets. You'll need a white man's weapon. Give this a try. Need a lock picked. Give me a second. Ready. When you were unconscious on the beach, you kept repeating a woman's name. Anna. I don't want to talk about that. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have pried. Where are you from, Mr. DeWitt? New York. What did you do there? Business much like this. Something that really caters writing on a resume. It was a fine thing you came along when you did. <laughs> How do you think I ended up here? I gambled, and now I owe money to men you don't want to be in debt to. I come here to pay it back. Me busting you out. What do you think that was? Charity? Who sent you? Somebody who was willing to take my marker in exchange for you. More money. Take it. Perfect timing. So, looks like they call you the false shepherd. And you the lamb. Let's not call each other that. Suits me. How do you figure they'd know you'd be coming? Either they've got a prophet on their side. Har har. Or them that hired me also wrote the signs. Why? Got me. The doctor ordered. You all right? I want to see Paris. I want to see everything. That's up to you now. There's no one. Wait, what is that? 40 north by 74 west. That's not Paris, that's New York. How did you know that? One thing I had in that tower was time, Mr. DeWitt. Time to study things like geography. I owed money. And there's a fellow, who, he offered to wipe away my debt in exchange for you. Come on. Hey, Elizabeth, it's gonna be okay. 
Come on, Eddie. Everything's gonna be okay. Will you just turn around and talk to me and we can... <laughs> Shepherd, we've been hearing so much about. Caused a mess of trouble at the raffle. You, Fitzroy? Nothing but. I got no quarrel with you or your Vox Populi. This is my airship you're hanging me out of, and I got perilous need of it. Really? Because it sure look like old Comstock's airship Listen, to me. I ain't looking for a fight. There's already a fight to win. Only question is which side you on? Comstock is the god of the white man, the rich man, the pitiless man. But if you believe in common folk, then join the Fox. If you believe in the righteous folk, then join I just the Fox. Want my ship. And the Vox shall give her to you. But first, you must help the Vox. Down in Finkton, there's a gunsmith who can supply weapons to our cause. Get our guns from him. And you shall have your ship back. Gotta find Elizabeth before she lights out here. The most common complaint I hear from the working men is that they are unhappy with their lot. <laughs> Why do you hurt yourself, I ask? The ox. Fire the man? Flying squad came and took him. Ain't gonna see him around no more.
You wanna know what we do to pretty little stowaways? Or maybe you don't. Hey! Just Get stop for a minute! Me. Stay away! I just want to talk to you! I said stay away! Ugh. Elizabeth! Get away from me! Just hold up for a minute! Stay away! I'm not angry with you! Hey, watch out! Move it! Move! Stay back! God damn it! Don't go in there! I have no need of one such it's as her. you! Go no, no, no! No! Let me go! We got her! There's gotta be another way.
slipping. Do not attempt to follow me, Mr. DeWitt. <sighs> Elizabeth, I've made an arrangement to get our airship back. You can get us out of here. Yes. I just need to supply enough weapons to arm an entire uprising. And where will we get these weapons? From one of our many friends and allies? A gunsmith in Finkton should be a walk in the park. What do you say, partners? <sighs> you're a liar, Mr. DeWitt. And a thug. But you're also my only means of reaching Paris. Don't get too comfortable you know, with my company, Mr. I wasn't born dead. You are a new No more. Are and uh, well, why is it, Mr. Fink, that uh, we have to work 16 hours a day? No, <laughs> let's be clear. I would like nothing more than... Gunsmith? Who sent you to find this person? Daisy Fitzroy. She's either a great hero or the worst of scoundrels, depending on who's doing the telling. She's good for an airship. I don't care if she's the Queen of Holland. Welcome to Think Industries Recruitment. We are not looking for any help. You hear that? No help. How are we going to get into Finkton? Illegally. Let's look for another way in. Some help with this. Got it. Over there, the service elevator. We should take us down to Finkton. And get ourselves killed in the bargain. Vengeance is mine, saith the prophet. Elizabeth no connections to the outlaw Daisy Fitzroy. Looks like our guy's drawn attention. That's not good, is it? No. Here's some cash. You got empty pockets? Best keep on walking. Slate's locker. He must have worked here. Uh, this is my mother's diary. Why would Slate have it? My husband claims the child was created from whole cloth by divine will. 
I am a believer, but I am not a fool. His bastard shall not be raised under this roof. My mother. She had me locked in that tower. Elizabeth. I just want to get out of this city. Please. Jeremiah Fick, and I want to share with you my personal creed. What is the most admirable creature on God's green earth? Why, it's the bee. Have you ever seen a bee on vacation? Have you ever seen a bee take a sick day? Well, my friends, the answer is no. So I say, be the bee. Be the bee. Hello? Mr. DeWitt? Uh, yes. Hold for Mr. Fink, please. What's going on? DeWitt, Fink here. Listen, my boy, we've had our eye on you, and I can tell you right now that you are our top candidate. Top! <laughs> now, uh, my associate, Mr. Flambeau, will help you with anything you need. <laughs> what the hell was that? I have no idea. He seems oddly pleased to make your acquaintance. got an ego. find a variety of supplies here that should see you through your visit. Need money? Take this. What Appreciate does Mr. it. Fink want with us? Excuse me, miss, but Mr. Fink's interest is strictly in the gentleman. But why? So sorry, young miss, but any questions regarding the gentleman's application should be taken up with Mr. Fink directly. Does this strike you as good news? Doesn't strike me as good news. What do you think? Head to the gunsmith or scavenge supplies by that clock shop? Do you know what Daisy Fitzroy and her anarchist cronies want for you? <laughs> uh, strike, they say. Uh, throw down your tools, they say. My
That poster. There's another cipher on it. Huh. So we need to find the code book? Yes. Looks like everything's in the pound at the Good Time Club. Maybe that's where we'll find it. Showtime. Come back at showtime. Guess we should come back later. song before. I don't suspect anyone's heard that song. I have a pressing need to speak to this so-called false shepherd stirring up so much trouble. We got enough problems without this damn fool shooting up the city and blaming it all on the Vox. Though if he's amiable, yeah, yeah, he might be just the fellow we need for our immediate concerns. I've read about this. It's Gautama Buddha. Who? The founder of Buddhism. Spent 49 days under a Bodhi tree until he achieved enlightenment. Something tells me Comstock doesn't cater to idols getting worship that ain't him. Hello? Hello? Mr. Lin? Chen? Lin? Is anybody here? What happened here? Someone worked this place over. Local constabulary, no doubt. Do you hear that? There's someone downstairs. Excuse me. Ma'am, I'm sorry to bother you. I... We're looking for Mr. Lin. Mr. Chen Lin. Booker. Mr. Lin, not here. He... gone. Gone? They take... flying squad. I pray, Gautama Buddha. Pray, give husband back. Give back to Mei Lin. Where did they take him? Club. Everyone take to Good Time Club. Where is this club? <laughs> Ma'am, please, where, where is this club? Booker, we'll find it. Just leave her be. 
Why not Vox Populi help Chen Lin? Why not Daisy Fitzroy help Chen Lin? <laughs> Cops. Kainu probably got their boot on Lin's throat asking him how well he knows Daisy Fitzroy. Isn't she the one we're working for? As a matter of fact, it is. Right, now let's figure out where this good time club is. You know your way around a brawl. There it is, Mr. DeWitt. I'm sorry about what I said at Now we just need to head inside and find Mr. Lin. And just call me Booker. Find Shen Lin and get the hell out of here. Now, now, all I ask is that you finish what you started to it. Wouldn't want to disappoint the other applicants. Our first candidate is a veteran of Peking. Now, what's that they say about old soldiers? <laughs> Frankly, my money's on you. He's something of an old hand at handling explosives. Only man I know who hasn't <laughs> lost a limb working with them. <laughs> Yet. Finally, be careful! Here! Great! 
your true rival is an expert with the automata. Wants to replace all our security with machines. I'll give the old boy credit, though. It would be fewer mouths to be. <laughs> interested in your job, Fink. Now, now, I know all about your little job for Fitzroy. But do you really want to take her offer over mine? Do you know how many people would kill to be head of Fink Security? <laughs> You're a tough nut to crack, Mr. DeWitt. A tough nut. <laughs> but I promise you this. Watch for your I will point. get what I want. There's a door over here. I think that's the way down. I had thought you a fool, dear brother. When you told me that you heard wonderful music trumpeting from holes in the thin air, I began to doubt your mental integrity. But not only have you made your fortune from these doodads, you have lit the for me as well. Oh. I found some money. Want it? Cell number nine. Hmm. Elizabeth, a little help? Looks simple enough. I used to work for folks like Fink. Really? No, I was with the Pinkertons. They call us in when the workers got restless. To do what? Demonstrate the folly of men striking, throwing down tools. You hurt people. I'll tell you this. Sometimes there's precious need for folks like Fitzroy. Why? Because of folks like me. There you go. shop. Tell us what you know about Fitzroy, you goddamn gook. We know you can hear us. You want to say something? Or you want us to bring in Mrs. Lynn for company? Uh, throw a bucket of ice water on him. We got three more to bring in tonight. down here.
want some money. Take it. Need a lock picked. Well, this is it, isn't it? Yep. Number nine. What could people have done to deserve to be locked up in a place like this? Fink don't need much of this. No. No, he doesn't. He looks... You were right. Sparing him was no mercy. DeWitt, you're a lion. But you can't blame me for looking after my own interests, can you? Now I know Fitzroy has come calling. But I think you'll find your business with her has come to an end. <laughs> lions walk with lions, do it. Not hyenas. Now we need to find someone else to make those guns. No. Dead is dead, Elizabeth. Dead is dead. What? How the hell did... I see heads. And I see tails. It's all a matter of perspective. Why are you following us? Who sent you? Comstock? What do you want? What do you see here? From this angle. Dead. Listen. And that angle? Alive. Walker. Chen Lin. It was never here. It's another Columbia. A different Columbia. The same coin. A different perspective. Tails. Tails. Dead. Alive. We have to go through to this other Columbia. But... It's like riding a bicycle. One never really forgets. One just needs the courage to climb aboard. If we go into this tear. I'll be able to bring us back. Are you sure you're ready? Okay, open it. Look, there's no blood. And no body. It's another world, Walker. Another Columbia. Something tells me one dead gunsmith ain't the only thing that's changed. Elizabeth? Let me have a look. All yours. To tax the black more than the white, is that not cruel? To forbid the mixing of the races, is that not cruel? To give the vote to the white man and deny it to the yellow, the black, the red, is that not cruel? But is it not cruel to banish your children from a perfect garden? Or drown your flock under an ocean of water? Cruelty can be instructive. What is Columbia, if not the schoolhouse of the Lord? I don't understand how Chen Lin is alive now. We're in a world where he was never murdered. 
Somewhere we'll find out why, I suppose. I don't suspect you can change something like that and have everything else remain the same. These men. I'm I killed them. They were dead. Not in this world. Look at their noses. They're. They're all bleeding. What's wrong with them? They remember. Remember what? Being dead. What is going on here, Satsmark? Has my head of security? I suspected you were one to find out how these two slipped past your men and what they were doing in the basement! Well, we'll see about that! He was the one who was strung up on the wall. In the other world? This whole business makes my head hurt. No tools. Let's go find that gunsmith. Maybe he's upstairs now. Look, or look. The shrine. It's a figure of Comstock now. Mr. Lin? Chen Lin? Excuse me, Chen Lin? Who are you? You speak up! Speak up! Can't hear you over all these machines! Very loud! I'm Booker DeWitt. Stand back! These machines very dangerous. Wait downstairs with Mrs. Lin. Uh, Daisy Fitzroy sent us. We need to talk to you about getting some weapons. Machines very dangerous. No place for stupid people. 
Want to lose pretty head? Mr. Lin- Downstairs! What is wrong with him? Remember him dead in that cell? Maybe in, in some way he remembers that too. How would you reconcile that? I don't know. Ease his burden. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm looking for Mrs. Lin. I'm Mrs. Lin? No, I, I mean a little Chinese lady. She was- Booker, this is Mrs. Lin. They took Chen's tools. What's he got without his tools? Well, your husband is a bit out of sorts. If he could work again, maybe if, if he could work, he'd... Mrs. Lin, can you tell me who took your husband's tools? Goddamn police. They took them and locked them up in the impound in Shantytown. She... Would having his tools back fix his mind? Who cares? We're not getting any guns if Chen Lin doesn't have his tools. Let's head to Shantytown. Did you notice? Lin had a bloody nose. Seems to be in style. He's terrible. I'm not so sure it was a good idea. Now, Jeremiah Fink has a philosophy. You see, your company is like Noah's Ark. You have the life. It's all right. As much a mystery to me as anyone else. Maybe Songbird knows, but he's not talking. I'm sorry. What for? I get to wear this stylish thimble to come. You must think me some sort of freak. A girl who can bring dead men back to life. Whose only acquaintance is a, a giant bird creature. I must seem ridiculous. You just got dealt a bad hand. I am not going back to that tower no matter what happens. They won't stop until they have you. Why? What did I do to them? You frightened them. Good. This is what they want, brothers. To keep you so hungry, you can't speak but to me. To keep you so ignorant, you can't. These people are like this because of Fink? To keep 
Maybe Daisy's right. Maybe she should pay him back for all of this. Not before she pays us. We're here for guns and then the airship. I guess we could head straight for the police station. Oh, or see what's in that bar. Hit There's it. a tear over there. Hit it harder! Hit it harder! Barely making a goddamn dent! Are you Go ahead! You bet. <gasps> Understand. Some people are treated like men. And others like animals. There's plenty of places down below where you'll find more of the same. Like a wounded knee. Yeah. Booker, there's the impact. We're gonna have to get through an army to get those tools. We can't tell that the gunsmith was making weapons for the Vox. We squashed that gunsmith like a bug and took his tools for our own. Make no mistake, soldiers. The Vox there and he is. trespassers. <laughs>
this open? Seems easy enough. Ready. shift while they're, they're just folk. Well, I guess I fell into the goddamn bottle because I stumbled back without the evidence locker key. If Schmidt finds out, well, there'll be hell to pay. Fancy putting those lock picking skills to work? No problem. It's done. Now we just have to get them back to the Vox, and then we get our airship. It's locked. Really? That little old lock. Ready. Who are we really helping by getting guns for the Vox Populi? It's gonna help us. Daisy can make a change, can't she? Make things better for the people here. Sure.
Well, we sure as hell aren't gonna be able to carry all this back to the shop. God, we didn't think this all the way through. What is that? It looks like a tear. To a, another version of this room that doesn't have any tools in it. Well, if the tools aren't in there... Then they must be back, back at the, at the shop. shop. Booker, if we go into this Terra, I don't think there's any turning back. Are you sure you want to go now? Do it. Well, that did something. Come on, let's head back to the gunsmith and finish our deal. I aim to be on that airship and well shut of this place for long. Booker, if the Vox get their weapons, there's going to be a revolution just like Les Miserables. These people are gonna have better lives. Yeah. I don't want to be a part of it. Once we get our airship, we'll be well shut of this place. this world, you're a hero. I remember I led the Vox. Slate and I burned down the whole heroes. Who knows? Hard to think. Two memories in the same place. Booker, come back to me. We're going to find Daisy Fitzroy. We're getting out of here on the first day. Let's go.
folk need a better class of hero. When it comes down to it, the only difference between Comstock and Fitzroy is how you spell the name. delivering a tornado blow. Hold and release to build up a more devastating tornado blow. brought us to a world where the Vox had weapons, or I created one. Clock tolls at midnight. Which clock? This looks like the one. Set it to midnight. I came to Columbia because I believed in God and because I believed in honor. Slade has shown me this. There is no God in shutting our brothers out from the family of man, and there is no honor in defending those who are strangers to its meaning. Perhaps in Finkton there is one more deserving of my service. factory and get our airship. This isn't our responsibility, none of it. You just opened a door to this world and we stepped through. Are you sure, Booker? Did I just bring us to a world where Chenlin was alive, or 
Or did I create it? I told you I always thought that my little trick was a form of wish fulfillment. I got my wish. <laughs> Two arms, brothers! <laughs> that door open unless someone takes that airship out. Are we volunteering? Sabotage the engine and bring this thing down. Sabotage the engine and bring this thing down. Okay, now to get off this thing.
Elizabeth. Let's go find Daisy in the factory. The gates are open! Now let's take their heads! She was coming here for Fink. We need to take that elevator. Up. Bet it leads to Fink's office. Just right for each other, aren't they? Who? It's Roy and Comstock. <laughs> May Lynn? Mr. Lynn? My God, I... I was so set on getting to Paris, I, I didn't really think that... You couldn't have known this would happen. I had a role in this catastrophe. If, if you want to pretend that we're purely innocents in this, then that's your prerogative, but... Um, hello? Fink? I saw you die, Booker. Saw it with my own eyes. Fitzroy. Listen, I got you your guns. I'm here for my airship. But my Booker DeWitt died for the Vox Populi. You either an imposter or a ghost. My Booker DeWitt was a hero to the cause, a story to tell your children. You, you just complicate the narrative. Wonder, though I've yet to see the app. 
application for it. They illuminate a merger of machine and man that is somehow the lesser yet the greater of both parties. The process seems to be irreversible. <laughs> Perhaps, though, Comstock will have some need of this kind of thing to keep watch in that tower he is building. Press to wash away your enemies. Hold to grab enemies and release to reel them in for punishment. Can you open this, Elizabeth? I'll see what I can do. Got it. it? Is this your movement, Daisy? This is what needs to be done. You see, the founders ain't nothing but weeds. Cut them down and they just grow back. If you want to get rid of the weed, you've got to pull it up from the roof. It's the only way to be... Elizabeth. Yes, it runs in the family. Elizabeth. Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, easy.
don't you just come out of there? L listen, I, I think you should talk to me. Look, I've been there. This is all I had. Listen. How do you do it? How do I do what? Forget. How do you wash away the things that you've done? You don't. You just learn to live with it. So the moment of truth between us. New York or Paris? Find a way to make this thing go faster. It's gotta be some sort of super throttle or accelerator. Do you know something. what that looks like? I don't know. Help me find it! That's not it. Certainly is. 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 Try again. All right. Hold on. Here you are. Booker! We've got to stop them! No, that's the E. No, Booker, that's hurry! Certainly it. No, it's not. It is. Isn't. Is. Isn't. Is. Play the whole song, he'll come back. No, you try. Fine. Stop it! No, that is not it. Fine. Stop it! You don't Here know you what are. you're doing! There it is. No. You've done it now. He's he's coming back. He's coming back. The notes were correct. The instrument was not. One needs both to get his attention. But if you know how to sing to him... He will take you where you need to go. Would you care to hear anything else, brother? Perhaps Who are you? We are where we are needed. And needed where we are. So Comstock uses these songs. Are there others we can use? Something to keep the bird off our back? Perhaps you should ask the maestro himself. So where is he? <sighs> of course. Well, at least they left the piano. <sighs> 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 Booker. That's Comstock House. If we're gonna find him, we should start there. The box are coming! We need to leave the dock! We need to push off immediately! The bots are coming! Where are these people going? Wherever the Vox populi ain't. Jump! Honey, I Come can't on, do jump! It. I cannot do it! I'm sorry! You need to remove your belongings or we can't take any more people! You're going to have to remove some of your luggage if we're going to fit more people on deck! The guard is at full weight! We're taking off now! Disembark! Look! 
Ammo, take it. Take it. That'll do. Do it now. On it. Elizabeth. <sighs> Child's play. What is it about that song that brings in the bird? It always has. When I was younger, I used to be excited when I heard it. Excited? He was all I had. He fed me. Brought me books. He was my friend. Friend? Until I grew up. And I hated him. Because he was my warden. He's just Comstock's pet, isn't he? All yours. Look at this. Fitzroy is no better than Comstock. Was she? Uh, once people get their blood up, it ain't easy to settle it down again. This is in our hands, isn't it? Perfect. 
Here's some cash. Prophecy business. You don't think anyone can really see the future, do you? I, I saw something once when, when I first got a dream. It was New York, but larger than any New York I ever saw. It was burning. Mm. None of the prophet's magic is rubbing off on you. Do it. You bet. Take a look at this lock. Looks easy enough. Ready. I just realized who those two are. They, well at least she, invented the technology that allows the city to flow. Giant balloons. Quantum particles. Suspended in space-time at a fixed height. So, not giant balloons? But the thing is, my book said they disappeared several years ago. I told you they'd come. No, you didn't. Right. I was going to tell you they'd come. But you didn't. But I don't. Are you sure that's right? Something tells me they're not exactly what they appear. I was going to have told you they'd come? No. The subjunctive? That's not subjunctive. I don't think this syntax has been invented yet. It would have had to have had been. Had to have had been. That can't be. They seem to want to help. They seem to be out of their minds. Odd, isn't it? What's odd? The fact that we sometimes... Finish each other's sentences? Exactly. It would be odder if we didn't. <laughs> How do you suppose they manage that? I'll get back to you after I figure out the floating city bit. Come on. Comstock House is up ahead. 
He was grooming me, wasn't he? Comstock? Yeah, I think so. And why lock me up? Well, I'm guessing you didn't. <laughs> you hold on to this. Catch! Anyone who could hear the sound of my voice. <laughs> These are dire times, and I could ever so use your aid. I, I hope no one has forgotten me uh, here. Uh, now back to the music. Stop. When we next meet, it won't be the parlor. See, I went out to that hall of heroes to scalp your false shepherd for you. Turns out, though, DeWitt speaks Sue. He helped me to swap words with this crippled child I've been uh, looking after. Now, after hearing how the kid has fared in your city, I'm thinking when we take your pill, I'll let him hold the knife. He's washing dishes and baby clothes. He's hot. Another season, another reason for making whoopies. A lot of shoes, a lot of rice. The groom is. Me out with this lock? Seems easy enough.
Go ahead. Want to hold on to this? Okay. Much obliged. Turnstiles are one way. 
Should we check out the bookstore before we leave? Did you take a look at this lot? Give it a whirl. Brother, what Comstock failed to understand is that our contraption is a window not into prophecy, but probability. But his money means the Lutess field could become the Lutess tear, a window between worlds, a window through which you and I might finally be together. Sally! The bastard snuck in while the box was shooting up the place and took my girl! Got her locked up in the salty oyster. His hidden closet, he keeps all his treasures. Just need to hit the button under the register to open it, but... Lock when we pass through. We won't be able to return. Can you open this? It's a simple dual dial lock. My book said most fools keep the combination no more than 20 feet away. Let's hope we find one of those fools. This might be it.
are you so keen on lock picking and code breaking? If you put a person in a cage, they develop an interest in such things. I suppose so. And I won't be locked up again. Elizabeth. Elizabeth, you promise me. I will stop him. No. That is an oath you cannot keep. But promise me that if it comes to it, you will not let him take me back. It won't come to that. All right.
Fancy putting those lock picking skills to work? Let me have a look. All yours. I had trapped the atom in mid-air. Colleagues called my Lutes field quantum levitation. But in fact, it was nothing of the sort. Magicians levitate. My atom simply failed to fall. If an atom could be suspended indefinitely, well, why not an apple? If an apple, why not a city? me to do let's not discuss it no what did that thing do to you if he were to take me back that's death mr. DeWitt there's something so like it I cannot tell the difference
generate a magnetic shield. Hold to absorb damage and release to throw it back. Hold and release to create an explosive trap. Money? Take it. Rise up! Sniper, be careful! This one open? Really? That little old lock. All yours.
thinking about that dream that you had. New York on fire. There's something about it. Hmm. Beyond that gate lies Comstock. Lady Comstock, how lovely to see you. Wonderful of you to make the journey, especially considering your painful death 19 years ago. Lady Comstock. The dress. The thing has mistaken me for my mother. Your fingerprints do not seem to be your own today, Lady Comstock. Are you unwell? This isn't going to work. I think it can. Your mother's dead, Elizabeth. Yes. I think it's time I paid my respects. Let's head to where she's buried. There's the graveyard. My mother's buried. Where are you going? Come on. What are we looking for? some cash. Cash! your mother's grave. They have her preserved in an airtight chamber. Her fingerprints will get us into Comstock House. She's your mother? A mother who abandons their child doesn't draw a lot of sympathy in my book. Take a moment to think about what you're doing. There. Will you open the door or do I have to go in without you? How are you, Mother? All locked up in there, huh? Looks like you and I have some common ground. Let me do it. No. Let me do it. Shepherd, and he has led you astray. What I do, I do for love. What liars does not cringe to see their cup and pain, but spare the rod, spoil the child. If you won't listen to me, perhaps you will listen to your mother. Elizabeth, are you all right? Where, where did she go? Hold on, you need to rest for a minute. No, I'm getting that hand. Elizabeth, why is your mother a ghost? She's not. He, he used me to, to power that device. He opened up some kind of chair. me! <laughs> Oh, 
what am I? My God, is she the source of my power? But what is she? Alive or dead? Why do you ask what? When the delicious question is when. The only difference between past and present is semantics. Lives, lived, will live. Dies, died, will die. If we could perceive time as it truly was. What reason would grammar professors have to get out of bed? Like us all, Lady Comstock exists across time. She is both alive and dead. She perceives being both. She finds this condition disagreeable. Perception without comprehension is a dangerous combination. Look! Footsteps! She goes to unfinished business. We have to follow her. Convince her to open the gate to Comstock House. It's a shame you have need of her to enter Comstock House. Frankly, she doesn't seem all that cooperative. There is a way to bring her to reason. Three truths you must discover first. Truths which, in this world, Comstock has destroyed. If only one of you had the power to alter time and space. That would be a blessing, wouldn't it? Hmm. Well, they're sarcastic. There's something off about Lady Comstock. Yeah, I noticed. No, you don't understand. She... she doesn't belong here. I brought something through. I'm just... I'm not so sure it was her. Much obliged. Take a look at this lock. I can do that. There. It's a tear. There's something in there. That Lady Comstock didn't belong here. She's almost feral. It's like she's a reflection. It's ruin me! I don't know. Fire 
Found some money. Want it? Elizabeth? On it. All yours. That'll do. That's all I want right now. Hey, Money? Take it. Appreciate it.
What's that? 50% of everything people earn here goes right to Comstock as a tithe. I gotta get me a job in the profit business. some money. Want it? feelings towards her. What do you mean? I'm just so angry. At her and, and at my father. I think she's her, but she's also partly me. I'm not even sure I understand it myself. Not of her womb, but of some unholy science. I do not know which is true. The child is no more divine than I. my silence, but I can only offer him forgiveness.
Here's some cash. Got a lock, needs picking. Let me see. There. See what I can do. All done. Interesting. Hey, look, lock. That's insanity. What proof would you have that Mr. Fink would hurt the Lutesses? The Lutesses told me. The Lutesses? When? Yesterday. Yesterday morning. Rupert! They've been dead these seven days. Anyone who knew the truth was better dead than alive. I'm not even his daughter. I'm just some specimen to be poked. Rosalind Lutes is not my mother. Neither are you. God, he killed you both. Yes, you. I know you hate me for not being your daughter. And I hated you for not being my mother.
owe you an apology. Comstock used me to bring you back, but I brought back a version of you from the reality that I had built up in my own head. He pretended to love you, like he pretended to love me. Bastard child. I am not your husband's bastard. I am his victim. My days of victimhood are done. We must forgive each other. Because there is one far worse than you or I. The prophet killed me because you wouldn't keep his secret. If that's so, then why am I alive? Not, not in this world. Maybe this is you in another. A world where you never meet him. Bring us the girl, and wipe away the debt. Bring us the girl, and wipe away the debt.
Elizabeth! Can you hear me? Get your hands off of me! Just want to see the girl. What are those? Doesn't matter. I just gotta get to the warden's office. Please, please, what is this place? Just, just send me back to my tower. It's too late for that now, child. Your father gave you a lovely home, and you chose to destroy it. He's not my father. Suppose the siphon is a kind of leash. Yes, my father put it on me. But when the time came, neither did I remove it myself. What would happen if I took off the leash and I found I was as obedient as ever? Redemption. The mind must be pulled up from the roots. My children are without blame, without fault, and without choice. For what is the value of will when the spirit is found wanting? I'm Dr. Pettifog, Elizabeth. 
And I'll be taking care of you. Get away from me. Defiant, even after all this time. DeWitt just left you here. You need to give up on him, love. He will come. needs to be destroyed. We couldn't even hold her in that tower. And now the prophet... Destroy the lamb? His hair? If we modify the procedure, we could... It would be safer for everyone. It would seem an accident. science will cure her of. The other affliction is of a spiritual nature. What affliction is that? Hope.
wipe away the debt. But in the end, he is the one who will have to pay down all of our accounts, won't he? Where does his guilt start? And mine end? A man once promised me that he would free me of my chains. But in the end, he abandoned me to serve his own needs. But in some ways, I thank him. He showed me exactly how much faith our species deserved. God put his faith in men once too. It seems that we have something in common. Disappointment. I did not always love the prophet. The truth, I ran from his embrace. I even denied that I was his. I followed a man who seemed to be everything my father was not. That man was a false shepherd. And when the wolves came for me, he was nowhere to be found. days pass, I believe less in God and more in Lutes. My powers shrivel as my regrets blossom. All of this because my father failed me. By the time I realized how far I'd gone, it was too late to stop it. But there is still one last chance. Redemption for both of us. There's the switch. undone. I cannot stop what I have put in motion. But perhaps I can keep it from ever starting. He was my first hope. And now he is my last. Should be able to head downstairs and get to Elizabeth now.
Elizabeth, hold tight! What? It's a tear. What is it? Why do you ask what? When the delicious question is when. Lives, lived, will live. Dies, died, will die. As you can see, Booker, the lunatics are running the asylum. Don't even listen to me anymore. All I can do is watch as what I set into motion slides into its terminal stage. It took all I had left in me just to bring you here. Uh, Elizabeth, I, I don't understand. I heard you screaming. I was I was coming to get you. Are we here? Take my hand. The seed of the prophet shall sit the throne and drown in flame the mountains of man. 
Say what you will about Comstock. He was a hell of a fortune teller. It wasn't the torture that broke me. It wasn't the indoctrination. It was time. Time rots everything, Booker. Even hope. I was coming. Songbird. He always stops you. Yes, but I would find a way. No. It's too late for me. I brought you here for your sake. Yours and hers. Here. What is this? It's for her. She'll know how to read it. What does it say? It's advice. Advice on what? How not to become a maid. Before she... There's still time. Elizabeth! You two men upstairs. If she gets her on her just hit her with the machines. She opens one... Comstock! What are you doing to her? Let her be! Mr. Delirious, what's the expression? Dead ready to the dollar short. Get in there. Maybe if I shut down those machines from upstairs.
Elizabeth, I'll be right there! this. You ready? I just do it. Here. Help me with this. I think someone meant for you to have this. What is it? Just read it. A dream of New York. Happens. It's me. I, I'm the one who... Uh. She's given us a way to get past Songbird. We're gonna find an airship and we'll leave... Booker. Paris, Elizabeth. Remember, you wanted to go We're to... We're not leaving. We are going to find Comstock. Why? You saw what he turns me into. I will not allow that. And so what? You're going to kill him? This is where you start moralizing, Booker. You forget. I know you. I'm not going to let you kill him. Really? Booker? What are you going to do to stop me? Not a damn thing. Because I'm going to do it for you. Right now to find the Prophet. Comstock's Zeppelin is outside. The Hand of the Prophet, he calls it. When did you learn that? I've been here for a while. How long? Long enough. I hope Comstock got what he wanted from me. Because he is not going to have long to use it. Can you open this, Elizabeth? Come on. There's something challenging. There. The procedure should help immensely with the issues we've had with the girl. Once the device is implanted, any effort on her part to alter the state of things will emit a most painful electric shock. Pavlov made a dog salivate. We'll make this one weep. All done. Everything here is a cipher that I understand, except for this symbol. It's a... cage. Did she say anything about this? No. Flagship. We've got to find a way on board. Stay here. I'll handle this. We're doing this together, or I'm doing it alone. Either way, I need to know the thing's been done. Do it. You struggle against prophecy. Like a stone loosed from a slate. 
How thrilling the launch. How breathtaking the apex. And how terrifying the descent as gravity drags you down into the inevitable. Done. What's that sound? Look! Take cover! That one! Okay! They must be duds. Those aren't duds. They're... Look around you, Elizabeth. I built all of this for you. You are my heir and my blood. And what has DeWitt ever done for you? To him, you are now what you always were. A means to an end. to redeem the kind of things that we've done. Redeem? I don't see much use in that. Booker, are you afraid of God? No. But I'm afraid of you. Comstock's men, they're coming out to meet us. Ship on the left. Booker, rockets! Get 
Skylines all over the surface of the flagship. They're covered with those motorized Patriot pods. Well, that must be where they're deployed from. I wouldn't go near those lines while those pods are in place. Comstock is at the top of the ship. Let's head up. Look at DeWitt's child. child. There's something about him that you just can't put your finger on. Soon you'll understand the man I am. And the man he isn't. isn't. Go ahead. Done. of those pods we could use them to gain access to the effects. This should clear up. I have seen the sun. 
seeds of fire that will prepare the Sodom below for the coming of the Lord. But it will not be I who carries that banner of the That job falls to you, Elizabeth. That job falls to you. Follow me. On one side of our land stands the false shepherd, and the other, the, other. the remnants of the heretical Vox Populus. Which one of you men will not gladly go to his reward to see her safely to her destiny? Rejoice! 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 Death has no station! Panel. Let's get those pods off the lines. Flat cannon, Booker. Something's wrong. Why are they dropping so slowly? I don't know. No, That's one quarter of the pods ejected. One half done. There's a Patriot. Do it. Sure thing. Take care of this on my own. No, I'm going with you.
We can take that skyline to the Prophet's cabin. there. I could hear you singing from above, and the machine came to life in response. And then in my mother's grave, there was a smaller one. They were draining me. M maybe that's why I can't... Can't what? When I was little, I used to be able not just to open tears, but I could create new ones to anywhere I wanted to go. But in the tower... Yes, I'll be right with you. Stand back. I'm ending this. Booker, no. This is between me and him. You are walking into a trap. I need to do this. Come here, child. Oh, come on, I don't bite. My, oh my, how you have grown. Tell me, what am I? Look at you, child. You're hey, a mess. Hey, let go of her. Elizabeth, everything I've done, I've done to keep you safe. Safe from what? The seed of the prophet shall sit the throne and drown in flame the mountains of man. But the archangel revealed something else. Beware, prophet. Beware the false shepherd Booker DeWitt, for he shall be as a wall between her and destiny. Why? DeWitt, I'm a fool. I've sent mighty armies to stop you. I've rained fire on you from above. I did all of that to keep you from her, when all I needed was to tell her the truth. Ask him, child. Ask him what happened to your finger. Ask DeWitt. Let go of me. Ask him. Ask the false shepherd. Tell her. Tell her, false oh, shepherd. Tell her the truth. My hand. Tell her. Please tell her about go. her finger. She's your daughter, you son of a bitch! And you abandoned her! Oh, was it worth it? Huh? Did you get what you wanted? Booker. Tell me! Booker! Tell me! It is finished. Booker. Nothing is finished! Booker! You lock her up for her whole life! Booker! You cut off her finger and you put it on me! Booker, you... stop it! You killed him. What did he mean? Huh? You tell me, what did he mean about my finger? I don't know. I... I just assumed you were born with it. I, I don't know. Your nose. It's bleeding. What? Elizabeth, I swear to you, I have no idea what he was talking about. You do. You just can't remember it. No. I'll prove it to you. We'll destroy the siphon. The answer's behind one of your doors. You just have to open destroy it. Destroy the siphon? It's the entire tower, Booker. How are we gonna do that? I don't know. But I'll think of something on the way.
little help. to Monument Island! Find something soon! Booker! Gunships! Get ready! The barge, Booker!
Thanks! Much obliged. Much obliged. The Zeppelin, bring it down. I'll see what else I can find.
Songbird's ready. Get the Zeppelin! to make it to Monument Island. Tell me where to send him. They're on the barge. The gunship, now.
That'll do. Come here. What? What is it? Look, you can use the songbird to bring the whole damn thing down. Destroy the siphon. And that's what you want? It's the only way we'll find the truth. Got my finger, Comstock, everything. Tear it down. Tear it all down. Where is he? One of many. This way. What do you mean, it's a doorway? 
Where are you going? Oh, come on. Yes, it's this way. What Comstock said about your finger. Is there an answer here? Do you... Down here. Over here, Booker. This is where we have to go. Why? What is going on? Elizabeth, what do you mean that this is a doorway? I'll have to show you. Probably gonna regret this. City at the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> Ridiculous. of doors opening all at once my god they're beautiful what, the stars come on come on it's this way come on Are you going to open it? No, it's no good. Damn it. I thought once we were here, I, I could fully control it. I, I thought... What is that? It's a key. Where did it come from? It's always been there. I just... I just couldn't see it. Stars. They're doors. Doors to... To everywhere. All that's left is the choosing. What are all these lighthouses? Why are we... Who are... There are a million, million worlds. All different, all similar. Constants and variables. What? There's always a lighthouse. There's always a man. There's always a city. How do you know this? I can see them through the doors. You, me, Columbia, Songbird. And sometimes, something's different. We have the same. Constants and variables. Yes. Exactly. We swim in different oceans, but land on the same shore. It always starts with a lighthouse. I, I don't understand. We don't need to. It'll happen all the same. Why? Because it does. Because it has. Because it will. There are so many choices. They all lead us to the same place. Where it started. No one tells me where to go. Booker. You've already been. Right after Wounded Knee, I was looking for... Come on now, time's a wasted. Why were you here? Are you ready to have your past erased? Are you ready to have your sins cleansed? Are you ready to be born again? Take my hand. No. 
No, I don't want to. But you already did, didn't you? Are you ready to be born again? I am. Do you hate your sins? I do. Do you hate your wickedness? Yes. Do you want to clean the slate, leave behind all you were before, and be born again in the blood of the yes. Lamb? Jesus, wash this man clean. Wait. Father, make him Stop born it. again. Lord, S Stop it. What no. are you doing? Do it. Get off me! Get off! Son! You didn't go through with it. You think a dunk in the river's gonna change the things I've done? Let's get out of here. Hey, look, these doors of yours, they're, they're all tears, right? We'll open one up. Open one up to Paris. I want to be shut of all this. Not until we find Comstock. Comstock's dead! No. He was here. This way. And what of my debts? Bring us the girl, and wipe away the debt. This is the man who hired me to find you. Really? Yes. The girl for the debt. There was no baby, and if there was, I sure as hell wouldn't give it over to this guy. Booker, you don't leave this room until you do. Do it. Time is running short. Bring us the girl and wipe away the debt. <laughs> Go and wait as long as you want. Eventually, you'll this. give him what he wants. I can see wants. all the doors. And what's behind all the doors. And behind one of them, I see him. Comstock. What choice do I have? The debt's paid. Mr. Comstock washes you of all your sins. the girl and wipe away the debt. There was no baby. The deal was, I go to Columbia to get you. Booker, they're bleeding. Oh. I remember. But I remember. I... Now we've upset him. I don't expect this next bit will do much for his mood. Come on. What are we doing here? Comstock's dead. We can just go on with our lives. You don't need dead? to... You mean like Chen Lin? Like Lady Comstock? No. He is alive in a million, million worlds. It's not over because the Prophet is dead. It will only be over when he never even lived in the first place. Hey! Hey, the deal's off, you hear me? Unstable. The deal is off! It's Give her fine. back! Hurry. Give her back! Fine, are you mad? No, you will not get caught in between, come! It is uncomfortable enough as it is! It's going to be more uncomfortable if you don't come now! If I get Give caught, her back, it's going to be a bit of a bitch! It's time right. before no. we see each other! No! No, no, Shut no! Shut down the machine! No! Shut it Anna. down! Shut down Anna. the machine! Anna. Now do it! Give me back my daughter! No! Anna. Anna? No. No. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Anna, I'm sorry.
to share this room with your regret for almost 20 years. Until one day, a man came to you and offered you a chance of redemption. A chance for us to be together. I told you it was We already know it works. The question is, will he? Anna. Anna. You suppose he branded himself as some sort of penance? Hmm, sure. Don't see the point. What's done is done. What's done will be done. I suppose the brand is his hair shirt, as he is ours. Wipe away the dead. The girl. Wipe away the debt. See? He's, he's starting to put his story together. Wipe away You're quite fond of this theory of yours. He's manufacturing new memories from his own ones. Well, Wipe the brain adapts. I should know. I lived it. Booker, wake up. Booker, wake up. This is where it started. I saw you. I saw you. To your credit, you did try to weasel out of the deal. This is all Comstock's fault. What if I went back? Killed him before he did any of this? Things get set in motion. How would one know how far back to go? That's the only way to do it. Go back to when he was born. And I'll smother the son of a bitch in his crib. Why are we are back here? This isn't the same place, Booker. Of course it is. I remember. Wait. Are you ready to leave behind all You're that not... has gone before? Wipe the You're slate not... clean. Who are you? You chose to walk away, but in other oceans, you didn't. You took the baptism. You, you were born again as a different man. Gosh, it all has to end. To have never started. Not just in this world, but in all of ours. Smother him in the crab. Smother, 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 smother. Before the choice is made. Before you are reborn. And what name shall you take, my son? He's Zachary Comstock. He's Booker DeWitt. No. They're both.
I may not always love you, but long as there are stars above you, you never need to doubt it. I'll make you so sure about it. I'd be without you, without you, and if, if you should ever leave me, though life would still go on, believe me, the world could show nothing to me, so what good would living be without you do 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 stars above you, you never need to doubt it, I'll make you so sure about it, God only knows what I'd be without you.
probably should be like slowed down a little bit since it's the last first. You can do that. Sounds otherwise, cool, it was though. like. Well, otherwise, it was just like an <laughs> abrupt ending, right? All right. Well, so so let, what I want to do, you guys are really, really, really good. What I want to do well, is make it what eight worse. I want to I want I want to take the tempo down a little bit if we can. Um, and sort of start by finding, like, Booker, if you could just be sort of like picking away at the beginning first and then sort of start to play the song and maybe then um, you guys kind of find the tempo together a little bit. Um, I want it to feel, you guys are so excellent and professional. Yeah, no, it won't be like that. I, I want to make it sound like it's not like, you know, sure. Cheryl <laughs> Crow and, and um, right. Eric Clapton <laughs> in the session. Um, so he gets Eric Clapton, I get Cheryl Crow. <laughs> Who do you want, Jop? Right. Yeah, uh, Joplin. Uh, X Tina. <laughs> Britney Cilo. Spears okay. and Seal. Anna? Anna? Is that you?